welcome back everyone for some more of my Around the Mario Maker World series. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on Super Mario World Forest stages. Which I'm very excited about this because I love how the forest music sounds in the Mario World style. But without further ado, let's check out this level by Future Days from the US and it's Olimar's Pikmin Adventure. It's a standard theme stage and it's Olimar crash landed on a strange planet. Discover the Pikmin and escape. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Without further ado, let's go. By the way, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Once again, I'm playing as Toadette. I actually think I've come to think of it. I think I saw this level on, level on a stream. I think, I think Natic may, may have played this stage. I know somebody did. It was either Natic or Steffi the Unicorn. Um. Oh, okay. I got very scared there. <laughs> Go down this pipe. As you can tell, I remember seeing somebody play this, but I don't remember, like, specifics. Oh, I think I went... I definitely want you. This sounds like music you would hear on Pikmin too, which is awesome. Yeah, I was talking about how excited I am going to be listening to Mario World Forest music, but unfortunately I have not been able to hear- Oh. If I would have lost that show, I would have flipped. There we go. Get rid of you. Take the pipe. There's a showman in case you lost it. 30 coin. I probably could have grabbed that, but that's not really necessary. Whoa! What? I didn't see. What did that say? Pretty cool idea, but the problem is that this level is really short. I do remember it being a short stage. Oh, woo! How did I... Okay. Yeah, I don't want... Thank goodness I was able to get back and get my shellman. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh! Just... I know. Just... Oh. Let's stand at the edge. And toss it. Okay, why is that not working? What? Whatever. I don't know why that did not work, but it should have worked. I did see that. Uh, I did know that was gonna happen. Okay, what good does does that do me? Oh crap! I missed my opportunity. Okay. 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 There's a one up. Okay, I'm lost. What am I supposed to do now? What? Okay, that was not there before. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, what the heck was going on there? Something should have should have happened. Something about a helmet. Nice. Nice! 
nice! That is a very nice stage, and I kind of remember this ending, come to think of it. And Olimar, aka Toadette, is in her... Starship. Yeah, I, I remember bits and pieces of it, seeing it on stream. I think I was actually lurking or doing something while this was, this, whoever was playing this, but... Yeah, very nicely done. Okay, let's go here. And we're gonna play- I know I played one of this guy's levels in the previous Around the Mario Maker World video, but I liked it so much, I'm actually gonna play this one too, and it's by Julian SMM. And it's the mystery of Lester Lake. It's a short and sweet theme stage, and what is hiding in the depths? There's only one way to find out. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Yeah, I'm very intrigued to see what this level has in store. Nessie. Okay, we're gonna go down the pipe. Unfortunately, we will not be listening to that music very long. Okay. But I do like this music. Ah. Uh, of course I say- Why is it that every time I say that I like particular music, it goes away? Okay, let's try reverse psychology. I really hate that underwater music. Yeah, it's every time it seems like I say that I like something, it gets taken away from me. Oh, I really hate this music. Oh, why did I do that? And yes, I did use re reverse psychology there. I do like... Okay, that was a one-up. Okay, uh, there's no reason for me to go back there. Oh, come on! What the heck? I gotta admit, I'm not really liking that part. Okay, let's see if I can get past this part. Okay, just keep swimming. I'm just gonna keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming. Okay, I kind of slowed down there. Okay, nice. Yeah, the idea there was just to, just to keep swimming. At least the nightmare is over. And that was a short and sweet level. I mean, yeah, I kind of did not like that part there, especially with the fish bones. But other than that, this was a really, really good level. <laughs> that's, a good th that's a good drawing of the fish bone there. But anyway, I'm going to give this one a heart. Good job, Holy and SMM. Okay, I'm gonna actually give you a follow. Still looks snazzy in that outfit. Uh... You know what, I'm actually gonna skip these no offense to any Zelda fans out there, but I'm gonna go here instead. And it's this level is by Stevie777 from the US and it's Seesaw Swamp. Balance your way through this treacherous swamp. Good luck. There's the course ID in case you guys wanna play this. Yeah, I know I said this before, but I just don't see enough seesaw levels in this game. 
They're actually one of my favorite uh, new gimmicks in this game. Okay, let's see. There we go, nice. Nice. Okay, checkpoint hype. Ooh, auto schooling, nice. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm weird, but I just find auto schooling levels semi uh pretty. Uh, Pretty satisfying if I could speak English. I love this music too. Be careful of Thanos water. Oh! Oh! What? That was stupid! I cannot believe I seriously lost a life there. Oh, that was stupid! Mm. I cannot believe I lost a life there. That was seriously among the, the dumber things I've, do, I've ever done in this game. Wow, that was so stupid. Oh, oh crap, and I'm not gonna get my fire flower anymore, am I? Okay, let's try not to be stupid this time. Okay, I do want to go along the right-hand side here. I'll probably get a reward or something taking the left-hand side, but... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I, I'll, I get a 30 coin, but that's okay. Oh, it sucks I lost my Fire Flower. Can I reach this? Yes, I can. Take the door. Okay. I... Nice. There we go. Okay. Simple enough. 30 coins, awesome. Oh, I didn't get the one up, but that's okay. Yeah, I like that level, and if it wasn't for my stupidity, I would have beat this a while ago, but I, even with me dying, I really, really enjoy this level. So, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a heart. Spoiler for Shrek 5, Thanos Flood Swamp and Big Smoke Rescues Donkey. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, okay, that's a speed one level. I'm not really interested in that. Um, let's try this one out. That's by Nintendo NM from the US, and it's Wacky Waters, Krista. Navigate tricky waters and test your swim skills. There's a course ID in case you guys are interested in playing this. This level was actually made on the same day that this game was released, so this is among the first levels here. What? What?
What? Yeah, let's let's get rid of you guys. Yeah, there's too many of you. Yeah, that's wow. Okay. Okay. Nice. I just gotta wait for the water to get back up. Oh, oh, yeah, I... Just keep jumping up here, that way the donut lift doesn't collapse. Nice! That part was actually pretty fun. Okay. Oh, crap. Whoa. Get rid of all you. Oh, come on! Yeah, I kind of took a risk there and it didn't pay off, unfortunately. I like this stage. Okay. I'm not jumping down there because I have no idea what's on the bottom. Okay, nice. NICE! That was a fantastic level! That kind of reminded me of that one special world level on, um... In the special world in Super Mario World. I forget which one it was. I think it was called Bondo or something like that. It was the fifth level in the, uh, special world in that particular game, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed that one, so that's, this level's getting a hurt for me as well. I think I have time to do one more level. Let's try this one out, and it's by G. Gibbony from the U.S., and it's Mushroom Marsh. Traver traverse the Mushroom Marsh and watch out for the poisonous waters below. So this is going to be another nighttime jungle stage. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play it. Nice. Whoa, okay. Okay, the water... Well, would you even call that poison water? I, I don't know. But it stops right there. Yeah, I really don't want to have to... I kind of have this thing with the Wigglers. I really don't want to jump on them if I don't have to. Oh, that was stupid! I, I was... What I was going for was sneaking underneath the piranha plant. Okay, get you. Really? Really? Let's see what's up there. Because how was I supposed to know that there was going to be something up there? Okay, yeah, that was not a good place to put a one up. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that something was going to be right there? Okay, stop. Okay. See, every time I try to sneak underneath the... Underneath the... If I could speak English. Every time I sneak underneath them, I end up getting hit or killed. Oh, Yoshi! Been a while since I've seen you, buddy. How have you been? Hopefully I won't kill you. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, of course! Okay. Gosh darn it! I, I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, I do want to go back and get you. Okay, hopefully you last longer than five... Hopefully you last longer than five seconds this time. Okay, let's actually do this the smart way this time. Like this. Oh, 
Come on! How come I keep losing Yoshi? This is the same problem I had in Mario Maker 1, my inability to hold on to a Yoshi. I'm not sure the water is rising or not. I'm not going to take that chance. Okay, get over here. <laughs> well, there goes Yoshi. I had a feeling I was not going to keep him throughout this entire level. I just had a feeling. And, unfortunately, my feeling was right. Yeah, this is the same problem I had in Mario Maker 1, my inability to hold on to a Yoshi. And it's unfortunately passed down to Mario Maker 2. Darn it. Hey, at least I beat the stage, but still, it would be nice to have Yoshi with me, but... Anyways, it was just not meant to be, but... Yeah, that was actually a very fun level, despite that. I mean, it felt kind of traditional. Um, the end scared me to death. LOL, no acid water. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give this one a hurt too. I, I like that. And the poison water, or whatever you want to call it, posed a nice challenge. And I actually like that vertical sub uh, area. It was very, very nice. I like, I mean, I like all vertical uh, sub areas in and of itself, considering it's new to the game as opposed to Mario Maker 1, where everything was horizontal, but. Yeah, I very much enjoyed that stage. And I think that's a good place for me to end this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed these, uh, uh, watching these, uh, me playing these stages. And maybe you guys can give these levels a shot as well. And, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in the next video in this series. I know it is going to be something from New Super Mario Bros. U. I just don't know what style yet. I'm leaning towards Sky, but that's not set in stone yet. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.